Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, tearing up the house behind me. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Actually, this is the second time I videoed this one. I deleted the first one by mistake. And that's fine. So I got a haul for you this week and I have some sh to show you some things I picked up. First off, woohoo. Let's not do that. How about that? <laughs> like knocking things over here. Okay, first off, I found it's called a multi purpose bandana or a buff. Comes like this, and this is what it looks like open. First of all, let's look at the fabric. Isn't that awesome? But this is a mask. Put it over your head, you can wear it around your face. You can actually cut this material. You could probably get three masks out of this it would just go around your face and neck it's like a stretchy knit it doesn't fray so you just cut it and wear it and it stretches you can also wear it as like a hat what i do is cut it and make headbands when i'm riding my bike so i'll make them about that wide i wear it on my head and it keeps my head from our sweat from like running into my eyes and stuff when i'm out riding so I think these are great, and for $1, you can't beat that. So I grabbed one of those. Um, the beachy stuff is on fire. Uh, this is not beachy, but I needed another lighter for my grill. Uh, if you saw my vlog on Monday, I used these to light the chimney because it's nice and long and safe. So I grabbed another one of those just to have on hand. Now, householdy stuff. I got some Frenches. I love mustard. Normally I buy the big one of these. It's not French's brand at the Dollar Tree, but it's like big bottle because I go through a lot of mustard. But I'm going on vacation coming up in a couple weeks. And this is the perfect size. This is eight ounces. And mustard, I'll just leave it in the cooler or the fridge when we get to the condo and then I can bring home whatever we don't eat. But I do like mustard with like lunch meat and cheese and it's easy vacation food. So I grabbed one of those to take. And if you saw before, I had mayonnaise, same size, like a small mayonnaise, which was perfect. And then on the same vein, I got some paste picante in medium. This is a perfect size for me if I wanna do a salad or just some pork rinds and salsa. This just works for me. Oh. Mr. Wellington says hello. Hi, buddy. You want to say hi? You say hi to the people? Say hi. <laughs> Crazy cat. He is feeling so much better with the medicine that he's on. I was getting nervous about going on vacation and leaving him, but I feel good. He's good. My sister-in-law or my niece will come check on him and my brother, so he'll be fine. Sorry about the weird lighting tonight. I got to get this done. And then I got some Glad bags, just regular 22 sandwich zip bags. I try not to use these overly much, um, especially at home. I use reusable containers, but for vacation, I need to pack things that I can eat. So this is just the easiest way. But as a general rule, I try really hard not to use a lot of um, disposable plastic product. But um, I grabbed a couple more of these and just different flavors. I got uh, orange and a lemonade. I think I got some grape and some fruit punch too that I had already put away from the last haul. But like I said before, these are great. I love these. The Sunkiss brand has six. The Weilers brand has 10. And then I think the Hawaiian Punch has eight. So you just have to read your packaging. Obviously the Weilers brand is your better option. Um, so a little keto trick. I take the lemonade and mix it with a little bit of vodka and it's zero carb. Just if I want an adult beverage while on vacation or whatever, the lemonade works good with that. But I like the orange and grape. So I just buy, at the beginning of summer, they seem to have all the fun flavors out and then come, like even now, it's hard to find anything but Weilers um, it, at the Dollar Tree. So I buy a bunch at the beginning of the summer and then I'm good until the end of summer. All right. Look at what I found. It's a pineapple, guys. This one, I don't know if you're gonna see it. It's like pearly white. I'm really obsessed with white these days, but they had it in gold, like a yellowy gold. They had it in all different colors. It's plastic. I'm just gonna set it out on my table and maybe I'll put some lemons or something in it. I mean, it's a dish. You could definitely put like appetizers if you were having a pool party or something, uh, socially distanced, of course. 
or you could just sit it out with some trinkets on it or decoration. You could put it in a um, one of those photo stands and have it standing up. I just think they're great. And for a dollar, it's super cute. I'm not having any company, but I thought it was fun for summer. And the cousins that I'm going on vacation with next month have also been socially distancing. So we're, we feel safe putting ourselves together. We're very limited on going out. Um, I found... This is, again, for here, but these are paper, not styrofoam, so they're biodegradable. Look at those plates. Are they not cute? This is a 12-pack. And then to go with it, I got some napkins, which are just your green and white polka dots. They had some Hawaiian print, but I liked the polka dots the best. Um, sometimes in lunch, it's just easier to grab a paper plate. Uh, for vacation, I wouldn't take these. They're not extra sturdy. And with the kids, especially, um, I have a better quality paper plate to take on vacation. But those are great for me and for the house. For four. Um, what else did I find, guys? Look at this. It's a ceramic. It's going to go on my two-tiered tray. It just says let it go. But look at the Ray Dunn. This is a Ray Dunn-inspired font for sure. Um, like I said, it's ceramic, but it'll stand up in my tiered tray, and I like it a lot. And I just, I love Ray Dunn. Um, not ready to go to Marshall's and all those stores yet, but when it's time, I want to go look for some uh, Ray Dunn Christmas stuff and some, like, summer stuff or just decor in general. Um, yeah, so it says let it go. Speaking of Ray Dunn, last Christmas, I found at Marshall's for Sarah a set of pens and notebooks from Ray Dunn that um, have the font and stuff. She loved it because she loves me and I love her. Okay, this was in the Father's Day section. It's a briefcase box, guys. Look at the detail. Okay, this tape or something, but look at the detail. It's just a box. The inside is like brownish green, but I'm going to use it in my desk if I IKEA ever opens so I can order my desk and go pick it up. Um, but I thought this would be perfect in the drawer to hold things like stamps, um, office supplies, maybe my tape, some stamps, just things that I will be using when working from home. Even if I just set it like that and had everything in it, it would keep it from shifting around in the desk drawer. And it has a silicone pack in it. Throw away. Do not eat. Got it. I'm on it. I'm not eating that. Um, speaking of my office, I grabbed some pens. Thought they were black ink because I don't read, but they're not. I can still use them here, but I need to get some normal black and blue ink pens. But Or I just need to clean out my room and find my black pens. But these are cute. Look at them. They're printed. Look at the pineapple. The middle one I think is like water. They're tropical. And they write in the color that they are. So I thought those would be fun just to have, you know. I do, I don't have a lot of paper per se at my job, but I have a lot of note taking. I have to write things down because I'm dealing with multiple employees at one time and departments and things. So during the day, I tend to write myself lists of reminders and then scratch them off as the day goes on. So as something comes, it goes on my list. By the end of the day, I just toss that list if everything is done or I save it for the next day if I need to get to do something. Um, so for stash, can we look at this bag, please? Look at those pineapple and the gold pineapples. Now the sides are plain, no gold. I mean, they're yellow, but there's no gold. And then the back has the gold again, not on the bottom, but the back and the front. And then the second bag is watermelon. And that's showing pretty true to color. But are these not perfect gift bags for 50 cents each? In summertime, I have a lot of birthdays coming up and I'll be doing a lot of porch dropping. Um, you know, putting gifts together and dropping them off on people's front porches or even just like for your UPS guy. How fun would this be with bottled water and some snacks? Because I, you're like me, the Amazon guy has been coming a lot. But hopefully that ends soon. So I got that set. And then they had this set. And it's like a fuchsia with gold metallic dots and then on the side it's the white polka dot and then on the back there's more metallic bottom is white 
And the second bag is cherries. Is this not everything? Again, a nice little gift, a thank you. Heck, take your lunch in it. I think they're fabulous. So these are my best finds. And I have a drawer in my closet and these just go in there and as I need them, I can just grab a bag, fill it up. I have plain white tissue and I want to see if they had any more designs and I'm almost debating grabbing somebody was at my front door grabbing it oh hi job an extra set um like i said i have a lot of summer things coming up gifts and birthdays and things like that um i only got one pet thing i brought the boys another scratcher for upstairs they have a big one down here but upstairs i like to put one in the hallway because it keeps them from scratching my carpet and these are great. Um, I just pop the top off. I put a little catnip in it and they go to town. They love these little scratcher things. So I grabbed them one. I try to pick them up when I see them. I'm currently out. So I did grab one. I might have should grab some more, but it's okay. All right. What did we find? Oh, fun stuff. First of all, this is hysterical to me. NFL batteries. What? I don't even like the Steelers, but my sister-in-law does. And yeah, this is a gag gift for Christmas. This is so going to go in a stocking for her. And then the joke will be, do they work? <laughs> I have no idea even what brand this is. Just as MRL Sports Steelers, super heavy duty batteries. Official licensing, but there's no like battery brand. I don't know, but they're Pittsburgh Steeler, and she likes them, so she can have those. I just thought that was hysterical. And please tell me this is not the funniest thing you've ever seen. Desktop ping pong. It is a four-piece set, and you know we're opening this up, right? It's ping pong, guys. Now, I know I'm not going back to work. I get it. Well, I am, but not necessarily to my office. But let's see what this looks like. So you have your little net, which is funny, right? There's your net. I'm just taking everything out of here. OMG, guys. Then you get I need to set this up on my desk and then video call my coworkers and make them watch me play ping pong by myself. Okay, this is hysterical. I mean, is it a great, is it a hundred dollar thing? No, it was a dollar. But I'm dying here. I am literally dying. And it's suction cups. Here, let's get this one on here. And it just goes together like this. Okay, let's get you in here. This is hysterical. This may have to go on vacation with us because wait till you see the rest. Okay, so you suction cup your net on your table, right? Guys. Stop it. Stop it. Look at these tiny little paddles. There's two of them. Man, if you had somebody who really liked ping pong, think about table decor for a party or cake decorations or cupcakes or just to lay around. I mean, this is hysterical. Yeah, we're going to have fun with this. So desktop ping pong. Let's see if I can store it without taking it apart because I'm going to have to set this up on my desk when I get it. And my desk is going to have a glass top. So that's funny. This will stick to it. So, um, stocking stuffer, guys. This is a stocking stuffer. See, you gotta think Christmas. I already just got two things for Christmas in this haul that are gonna just be silly fun things. But you gotta pick them up when you see them. Now, speaking of Christmas, I did pick up a repeat buy for somebody because I'm gonna put together an advent calendar. And it's the part of the advent calendar this goes with. So I got one of these now that I know it's to erase on paper and not like glass, erase glue. Thank you for all of you who told me. So it's a eraser for that. I grabbed her the pokey sticky tools, 
which I already have a set for myself. These silicone fingers, these are fabulous, especially if you have a little person that wants to learn how to use a hot glue gun. These are what protect little fingers because that's what it's for, silicone, like for gluing and stuff. And then this one is for paper crafting. I actually have this already. Um, I had one, I bought a second one, but it scores your paper and then you can like fold it and stuff. So I'm starting a 25 day advent calendar for somebody and this, these are gonna be one or two of the days, like one day each, or maybe I'll put two together. Depends how much I come up with before Christmas, but everything gets individually wrapped and it'll be all put together. Not everything comes from the Dollar Tree, but when I find stuff like this, you bet your bippy, you bet your bippy, I am going to use them. I also, next time I go, need to pick up some um, of the two-way adhesive, the sticky dots, the mounting tape, that kind of stuff. I use them. I use it all the time. And then I grab these clothespins, which they've always sold clothespins, just not this size. Look at how large those are. That is a good size to make like on a Christmas card or a table setting or any kind of crafty thing, but they're better than those little tiny, tiny ones. I use them at the holidays to hold a paper bag together and I glued a sticker of uh, tag on them. There's lots of things you can do with this size. A garland, you can put them on a garland to hold your Christmas cards, Easter, you can put signs from them, you can glue them. These are a great size and you're getting 24 of them for $1. You're not gonna get that at any kind of craft store, for sure. Um, for my little cousin, Addie, I thought these would be fun for her. They're picture frames and they come with a little peg and you put the peg in this hole and they stand up, but they're wood laser cut and then you can paint them. So there's a pineapple, a sun, and a ship steer thingy. I don't know what that's called. I know there's a word for it. Steering wheel for the ship. So we're going to the beach, so I thought these would be perfect for her. She can, uh, if I see them before we go, I'll give them to her and she can paint them and then we can print pictures for her. Is that glass? No, that's gotta be plastic. Guys, I think that's real glass in there. No, it's not, it's just hitting the wood on the back. I was concerned, I didn't wanna give her. I mean, she's, she's a young teen, but still. So I thought these would be, these are great. And they had a couple others, but I thought she would enjoy these three the best. Um, they had a boat shape, a seashell, maybe one other one. So these were like in the party section. So I need to put those aside for her. Um, I got two more sheets of this cork. I'm trying to come up with an idea of a craft to make this week. So I wanted to grab, they had two left when I went in, so I just grabbed them. So I have four sheets now. Um, somebody had mentioned in the comments putting them in like a picture frame and using it as a cork board. Um, this is not going to be thick enough for that. You see how thin that is? However, what you could do is get your picture frame, get a piece of foam core board, cut that and this to the same shape, attach that to the foam core, and then attach it to your frame. Then when you put the push pins in, it'll go through the cork into the foam core, and then you should be able to utilize it as a cork board. But just this on a hard surface is not thick enough to um, stick a pin in. But I like it. I think it's super fun. It's adhesive, so I think that there's some fun things we could do. Even like coasters, make drink coasters. You could attach this to like cool, um, the ceramic tiles, but I'm gonna come up with something different than that right because we don't need that let me put that stuff away and I have a couple more things they have jute I love jute I grabbed this because I thought it was a good value you're getting 256 feet of jute and it looks pretty good the jute that comes on the spool, it's kind of janky in the middle. You get fat, thin, fat, thin, blobs. It was weird, but this looks better. So I'm hoping it's a better quality, but again, for a dollar, I use it. If I need to cut it and piece it, I'm not mad. It's a dollar. So I grabbed that just to have for my stash. Um, I grabbed some thumbtacks for 
decor, um, crafting. One thing I do use these flat back ones for, let's say I have a piece of decor that I want to glue to my wall. I want to glue this package. What I would, or attach it to my wall. I would glue a, a flat black, uh, flat back tack to the back with like, if this is a real surface, to, with some of like E6000 or the Dollar Tree version, let it sit overnight and then I just push that in and it attaches to the wall. So I think these are great for a myriad of things but I didn't have any and I was looking for one the other day. So I bought a package. Um, I finally, guys, I finally found the windmill. Oh, come on. By itself, it's fabulous with the little bell. It's a green color, I think it's, or gray, I don't know. It's distressed, but I love it. It spins, not great, but maybe because it's bent, I don't know, but we'll see if I do something with it or I might just hang it on like, oh, a wreath or something or just hang it outside on my patio. But I finally found one and I'm proud of myself, I only bought one, not two. I know, right? And then the last craft thing I got, I got a couple more things. Um, look at this. Dude, this is Fat Quarters. This These sell for $2.99 at Joanne. Look at that cute baby fabric with the little elephants. Then they had this in owls. How sweet is this? And then some blue flowers. And I am a obsessed with this orange mandala type pattern. Um, I did open two boxes to see if they had any other prints of fabric and they did not. I've only ever seen this at my one store that has the crafter square dedicated section. Um, but this is not bad quality fabric at all. I would wash it first just to make sure you get the sizing out if you're going to sew with it. But this is not bad fabric at all for a dollar. This is great. If they had a better selection, I would go to town. Um, and what I'm probably going to make with these, especially these two together, are book sleeves. I think these would be perfect book sleeves. And for, like I said, for one dollar, that is a fabulous deal. So if you come across it and you do anything with fabric, or want to do anything with fabric, they have it. So I'll take that. Let's take that. Now the last things I got was from the health and beauty section. I always get these when I'm going on a trip because I like the container and it goes in my makeup bag easily. But you get 12 placards. So for me, that's six days worth, morning and night. And I use them to floss when I'm on the go. And it's a nice little package. Now, I know I can get a package of 65 or 50 of the same thing for a dollar. Um, but the little container makes it worthwhile for me, which I should just keep the container, but you know, whatever. I throw it in my makeup bag so I have it when I'm doing my teeth. Speaking of, Placker's brand has a travel toothbrush. These are great. Um, I tend to get these when I'm traveling and then toss them away. Because at home, I have an electric toothbrush. So I don't need these, but on the go, this is great. And that little tube of Colgate would be enough for a week for me, twice a day. That's plenty. And then the little fold in on itself toothbrush stays clean. And then I don't feel bad tossing it on my way home. So those are for vacation. I need to put those away. And then I found some makeup. I got some Revlon Color Stay Mousse Eyebrow Pencil. And we're gonna test this out, because these are for me. And if you can tell, my eyebrows are pretty sparse. And when I put makeup on, I definitely have. Are you sleep He's sleeping in my tray. Oh my God, these cats are weird. Okay, so what is this? It says it's a color Auburn. Okay, I have one of these at home. They're weird. At home upstairs, you crank it until the mousse comes out. The thing is, I don't have enough eyebrows. Hold on, here it comes. I don't really have enough eyebrows to attach this gel to, so this is what it looks like when I draw it on. It's not a bad color. It's not my color. Yeah, definitely it's for a redhead. 
Maybe I'll see if Sarah wants it. I think she's having red hair right now. Yeah, not too bad. But what you do is you attach it to the lash, to the, to the eyebrows. And I don't really have uh, brows. They're sparse, like I said. The other thing I found was CoverGirl, no, Maybelline <laughs> Metallic Eyeliner, which I don't use on the bottom. I use it on the top of my eyeline, on top, like eyeshadow. And it's shiny bronze in starlight gold. So let's see what this looks like. And like I said, I use it almost like an eyeshadow and not an eye liner. Oh yeah, that's going to look nice. <gasps> Do you see that? So when I put it on top of my eyes, it kind of makes them look a little more open. Oh, I love that color. That's exciting. For $1, guys, name brand, drugstore name brand, but nonetheless, and Sarah will play with that mat, eyeliner or eyebrow pencil since I can't. I have to draw mine on, which I have several. And then this is the Starlight Gold. Oh, and that's the bronze. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, I like that a lot. And it goes on really smooth, too. So there's the gold and the bronze. And it's nice and creamy. Yeah, that'll make a good um, eyeshadow on the top. All right, everybody, that is it for my haul this week. I hope you enjoyed, and you have a great week, and I'm going to get Mr. Man here out of my, off my coffee table. Come here, Alex. Do you want to say hi? Come here. Come here. Nope, come here. Ooh, ooh. And here's Mr. Alex. Hey, say hi to the people. Say hi. Oh, ow. Sir. Sir. Hurt. <gasps> Say hi. Oh, ow. I just clipped his nails too. He let me. All right, that's everything, guys. I will talk to you later. Good night.